expertise, uh, our innovators will be with us today. Thank you all very much for organizing this event and having me have the privilege of joining and listening. In fact, I'm very sorry I didn't come here earlier or we didn't have this event earlier because before I came here, I had a press conference. And uh, which is linked to our UN Day that's happening tomorrow. And one of the questions was about digital and technology. And I hope that I answered it reasonably well. But have I heard this before? <laughs> I have really given an answer that would have been on the hot, top news on <laughs> TVC and uh, Azam and other TVs. Anyway, uh, as we bring this insightful visit, for us certainly, uh, to close, I would like to express my sincere thanks and gratitude to Sahara Ventures, but also to our colleagues from UNFPA and UNICEF who have co-organized this with you uh, to make this event happen. This event really exemplifies the impact that a strategic collaboration can have in advancing our shared goals in sustainable <coughs> innovation, technology, and also entrepreneurship across Africa, not just in Tanzania, as you said earlier, CEO, while doing our best to leave no one behind. This is a principle we say so many times, and one that is very easy to slip. So it's very important we remind ourselves of that. Thank you, my other fellow colleagues from the US system for being here, and being also the, the, the partners of uh, Sahara or other similar ventures uh, as the UN team and family. Today we got the chance to hear some great stories and to s see the growth and impact. And I'm really proud of the role of the United Nations aid agencies, funds and programs that they had in supporting the journeys of people but also organizations that we have heard from today. I understand that our collaboration with Sahara Ventures and other key stakeholders have been yielded meaningful progress in addressing critical issues such as we heard sexual and reproductive health and rights, the empowerment of women and youth with disabilities, the combating challenges or the, the combating the challenges such as early child marriage or child marriage and also the teen pregnancies and in general, violence against women and children. These are all the priorities that are closely aligned with our people outcomes of our United Nations Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework. Let me just pause here because we've talked a lot, or we have mentioned several times, cooperation framework, people outcome, what it means. The United Nations Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework is our framework agreement with the government of Tanzania on United Nations support to Tanzania over a certain period of time in striving towards attaining the sustainable development goals. So we had ours launched last year and started in July 2022 and our framework covers a period of five years until 2027. So this framework really is the strategy, the guidance, and the priorities of what UN will do in Tanzania for people of Tanzania, communities in Tanzania, in support of the civil society and above all the government. <coughs> Within that framework, that cooperation framework, we have aligned our work under four different what we call outcome groups or outcome areas. <coughs> One of those is people. The one we are emphasizing this year at this time for the UNA. We also have another that is called prosperity. And we have heard a lot today actually about prosperity because it is about smallholders, smallholders, small farmers, their income, their productivity, their financial inclusion. The third one is planet, self explanatory, a lot about climate change, environment. And the fourth one spreads across, and we call it enabling environment. And this aligns with the UN's kind of uh, 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 peace and partnerships area work. 
So that's what it is about, just to, to, to kind of explain a little bit. Anyway, these priorities of our cooperation framework are very much in line with also this year's United Nations Day theme, which is investing in tomorrow, today, leveraging Tanzania's young population. The diverse exhibitions and the insightful conversations that we have had today underscore the significance of integrating sustainability in our work as well. It's important that we establish robust systems and provide the necessary support and incentive to create an enduring change. Today's showcase of innovative solutions and dedication of our innovative partners are a testament to the power of sustainable initiatives in creating lasting impact. We're going to ask this smallholder who hasn't been able to obtain a, a loan after a year, how is he or she, preferably she, doing now when they have had a chance to get that financial service that we try to really make sure it reaches to everybody to the extent possible. So, I would really like to thank you all for making today a very successful uh, event. At least I see it that way, and I have learned, and I've also learned that we work well with different types of partners. I take this opportunity to invite you all to join us tomorrow for our commemoration, and if I can say celebration, of the United Nations Day, which takes place on 24th of October. Tomorrow we'll be doing ours in Tanzania on Karinji grounds in Dar es Salaam, I'm sure you all know it. And uh, it's a day that's dedicated to acknowledging our shared commitment to peace, global progress, and sustainable development, and generally to the values and principles of the United Nations. Again, Sateni Sana, thank you very much. <laughs>